What is up heroes, this is Midnight Zero and welcome back to Let's Play Catherine. In the last episode we spent quite a bit of time at the Stray Sheep, talking with quite a few of our friends. This time I don't actually believe Catherine came to hang out with us. And so I think we were going to spend the rest of the night enjoying our nightmares. I guess enjoying is a little bit of an overstatement, right? But yeah, we've got quite the bit of a puzzle segment coming up, so I guess we'll go wow. ahead and do that. You don't look so hot. You should go home and get some rest. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> oh, yeah, about my bill. Uh... Yeah, put it on your tab, right? I know, I know. Anyway, just make sure you get home safely, okay? With all the rumors and bad news going around. Ah, you worry too much, Erica. I'll be fine. See you soon. I actually really like Erica's concern for Vincent. Like... She obviously grills him when he does things that he shouldn't be doing and gives the appropriate sort of feedback in that regard, but also is supportive in what ways Vincent needs. It's not from another girl, is it, Vincent? We still need to meet my parents and tell them. Well, if she is pregnant, you gotta bite the bullet. Yeah, Vincent's definitely in a tough spot, right? Both Catherines are definitely advancing the relationships quite quickly. And he's getting to a point where he's gonna need to decide. You've come. Tonight we visit the quadrangle. I didn't expect you to climb this high. So here we are, we're on the fifth night. Things are definitely gonna escalate. And we're gonna have some new hazards that well, in my opinion, are some of the toughest, or the most unrelenting in terms of if you mess up. Stepping on an ice block will make you slide until you reach the edge. It's a dangerous hazard that can lead to instant death. Be careful. Yeah, there's no, like, realizing all of a sudden you're on a spike trap and then, you know, getting out of the way, but... Shit, it's cold. I I'm gonna freeze to death. Yeah, with all you're wearing... And so I love how they put the coins here at the bottom to tempt you into figuring out how the ice works, right? Like, that's just good game design, in my opinion. But, so what we're going to be doing a lot in this stage is taking advantage of our spider crawling in order to... What's it called? Um, actually, yeah, I'll just pull this out. In order to get around without having to actually walk on the... What's it called? on the frozen blocks. And so something you'll notice here is there's this block on the right and on the left for that matter. And that's sort of like a spring block. Those are quite difficult in my opinion at least to plan around, but it is something we're going to have to get comfortable planning around. How am I supposed to get up there again? Oh, wait a minute. I bet there's a spring block. Yeah. So we need to be careful in terms of getting around. I have this here. I don't really, really need that item, either of those items for that matter, so I think we're just gonna keep on moving on. Pick up these coins. And again, this is more of the tutorial segment related to these ice blocks, so it's not gonna be too pressing yet. Oh, what? There's another level? Am I, am I gonna have enough space at the bottom? I don't think so. I am not, which is going to be problematic. So we're going to do some undoing. I did not plan appropriately. But what we can do is actually spider... No, we can't spider over, unfortunately. All right, we're going to push this out. Hopefully this falls. Ah, uh, no, we. that's going to not be enough. Okay, I've got a bit of an idea, though it's certainly an odd one. Wait, can I not rotate around? I guess not. Hmm. Alright, then what we'll do is this. Oh, can I not? Dang, I'm having a tough time, guys. But we can spider climb this way and we should be alright. Again, taking advantage of that spider climb. I don't know what's going on on the left versus the right there, but we'll stick over this way for the time being. We can get this pillow, which will be nice. We'll take this item because it's really not that far out of the way. We're gonna prevent you from doing anything. 
And let's see here. How do I want to work around here? This guy's giving me a tough time. I don't like those that series of moves I just did. So we're gonna we're gonna undo some stuff and figure out what's gonna work best. I think it might work best if I try to give myself a sort of three by three base again, like I have in the past. We push this out. Oh, that's not gonna fall. All right, we need that to fall. Come on. Ah, oh, darn it. Okay, so. The undo mechanic is kind of broken in terms of getting resetting our combo and all that. But hey, we uh, we take those, right? And we made it up. Now we've got up here. That sheep on the right is somebody we're going to want to work, keep an eye out for. I'm sorry to hear that you're falling. Unfortunately, we're a little bit more concerned with these coins on the right. So I can probably do that to make that... Or no, that won't make that fall. That will. And now we can pull this. I'm trying to keep an eye out on the right side as well to make sure there aren't any coins I'm missing. I can hear the bell, which is nice. Uh, how do I want to do this? I can make a little bit of a bridge, which is pretty cool. And I could make a staircase as well. How do I want to do this? I'll do this to be able to get these coins. Now, the real question is how am I going to get these coins, right? I think if I do this, I'll be okay. I'll slip off, that's okay for now. If I do this, I can spider over onto this side, and we are in the clear. You'll also notice that in some of the earlier levels, our perfect combos were only 38, 39, mid-40s. And so you can see that now that our perfect combos are in the 50s, we're climbing a lot higher stacks of blocks as the nights progress. But, yeah, the, the ice blocks, one can be difficult to see. Not bad, not bad. <laughs> it seems we've earned the approval of this mysterious voice. But the ice blocks can be difficult to see, but they're really, once you make a mistake, you can't react to it, right? It's you either, you either die or you try to accommodate after you've already made that mistake. There's no in-between, really. And look at, look at this sheep. Yeah, I don't, I don't know about that. I mean, I'm sure the, the men would live if women weren't around, but not for much longer. Yeah, what is with that guy? But all of them only think of saving themselves. They're only friendly on the outside. They're hypocrites, just like the people who surround me every day. I don't need their help to climb some blocks. Hey, come on. <laughs> Good luck by yourself, then. <laughs> For some reason, what just came to mind is... Have you guys ever read Catcher in the Rye? I'm sure you have, if you're at least from America. It's almost forced. But it reminded me of Holden Caulfield and the whole phony complex. Anyways, by the way, there's this technique. I just thought of a technique. I didn't ask you to teach me anything. I was talking about that. <laughs> Vincent's like, yeah, I'm just thinking. Allow me to explain ice evasion. Oh, so you've already seen me do a little bit of this. Ice stones without slipping. And as long as you're hanging off the side, you won't have to worry about slipping. That's amazing. I won't thank you. As I said, I'm just talking to <laughs> That's myself. amazing. I won't thank you. It's so hilarious. Vincent's just like passively distributing his knowledge to all the other sheep. I have this technique. So that, that flow of conversation doesn't really go nicely, but hey, it works. Thank you. As I said. What do you have to say over here? This the she doesn't seem to be doing so hot. I love Vincent's like little bit of humor in this desolate situation. This. I'm going crazy. But it's interesting because we were told something similar, right? Robbing a future, potentially. If you want an item, pony up some coins. Tonight's product is... The bell changes the blocks around you into normal blocks. No, I don't need it. Huh? We are going to be very intentional about letting that text play out. 
so that we don't accidentally buy something. Okay, what do we got going on over here? Yo, speak of the devil. Huh? Some of the other guys were talking about a sheep that had been climbing really well. When you devise a new technique, teach us. We'll let you know what we've come up with. Hey, you got a nice little group. Let's work together and get out alive. You're a great climber. Teach us some of your moves when you have time. Don't mind if I do. I've been working hard this far. But maybe I'm nearing the end of my road. Come on, you're not done yet. You get the strength to be pessimistic. You can keep climbing. Wow. I always thought it. But you really are amazing. You're going around encouraging everyone, raising morale. It's truly something. Oh, thanks. I'm glad that my, my positive words are having an impact. The scenery sure has changed. Is this the fifth floor? It's getting more and more complex, though. I don't know if I can keep this up. Don't worry. I'll tell you the techniques I've learned. <laughs> thanks. You're a kind sheep. Yeah, I'm happy to help. You're famous for being a great climber. I gotta keep up now. <laughs> I refined my climbing skills when I played through Celeste, so of course. Is this place hell? She did tell me to go to hell. She? The chick I slept with the other day. My boss was saying that his girl is a witch, though. Yikes. That wouldn't... That doesn't sound like a very pleasant encounter. Unless... Unless that's your thing. is nasty. might be special techniques. Tell me so. Do you know of this technique? Well, let's see. Allow me to explain ice pulling. If you're holding onto a block when you move onto an ice block, you won't go sliding off. But remember, you can't push while you're standing on an ice block. You can only pull. That's all I got for right now, but feel free to talk to me anytime. It's really helpful. It's really thoughtful. You not only have skill, but spirit and tenacity as well. The weak cling to the strong. It raises their chances of survival, after all. Mm -hmm. well, let's both do our best. Yeah, I mean, that's a good technique, too. I don't know if I've been too intentional about using it, but... Do you want to review the technique? Nah, I'm good, I'm good. I gotta go. Good luck to you guys. Let's see what uh, our friend with the regent She's hair has. She wants revenge. I broke up with her because she lied about being pregnant. And now look at me. Hmm. That could be pertinent to our own lives. Vincent takes out a notepad. Who's the witch or the pregnancy was a lie? Um, we'll go with the... We'll go with who's the witch. She, a clerk at my company. Fuck. How did she know dad? You and me. If she's the one who cursed me here, then why does dad come out every night? What's that? The big one. Every night, my dad comes after me. It's just your father, right? Only why is that scary? <sighs> Look, I'm gonna get out of this hell. Wouldn't assume that everybody's father isn't scary, Vincent. Look, I'm gonna get out of this hell. As we've seen, everybody here has their own trauma, their own troubles they're working through. But unfortunately, I'm actually gonna save. Well, I'm gonna save for the sake of just staying on top of this and in case anything bad happens. But my headset is telling me that I need to recharge it. So I'm actually, unfortunately, gonna have to pause the gameplay and start recording again in a little bit. So, I mean, it won't matter for you guys, but I'll be back in a second. Okay, so I know that for you guys it's been a matter of seconds, for me it's been an entire day since I've actually been able to play this game again, so forgive me if I'm a little bit disconnected from what we were doing before, but I believe we finished the first you? night. Why are you doing this? <laughs> I could explain, but I doubt you'd understand. In any case, sit down if you want to talk. Or rather, the first stage of this night, so oh, You've let's keep going. The fifth floor. I see you were able to pass the slippery ice. Good for you. I mean, you could kill me in an instant if you wanted to. Do you do you enjoy watching us scramble? I don't intend to answer anything else at this point. I'm the one asking the questions. This is the sixth question. If the person you loved was interested in paraphilic infantilism, what would you do? Yikes. <laughs> uh... <laughs> no, no, I couldn't do it. I'm sorry, guys. I couldn't do it. Not, not for, not for my lover. Not for anyone. I, I don't think I could do that. I wouldn't say it's a deal breaker in that. I don't know. You know, it wouldn't be like the end of the relationship or anything like that. But no, nah, I don't think. I don't think Which I could one? do it, guys. 
That's a deal breaker. Wow. That response in the meter is surprising. I see. But whatever. You're free to answer as you choose. Now, things will only get more difficult from this point on. It won't be like the previous levels. And the place you would call true hell is coming soon. <laughs> this discussion is over. Let's go. Interesting, I just realized there's sort of like a shadow on the other end of the, the confessional there that I never had noticed before. Let's see what the results are. This will be a pretty funny one. Wow, and it's like right down the middle again. Wow. I mean, I, I can appreciate that some people are more into roleplay and able to do those sorts of things than others. I, I, I just don't think I could do it in all seriousness. Or if I did do it, it would it would feel very ridiculous on my end. Grab pushing an ice block or hanging onto an edge will let you move over one without sliding. Study the terrain and find a safe route. I will do my best. You don't need to tell me that twice. Come again. Fuck! <laughs> Are you ready? Ah, he's talking about the other sheep. So we can go off like this and then I think actually no, we can just pull one of these blocks out. I was gonna try to get to one of the other ones because it'd be faster, but we can just do this for now and it's not a huge deal. I love the music here. So if you have not been paying attention to it, you absolutely should. Oh, I wanna get that. Hmm. Let's see if we can do nope. Pull the block. Right, I got it. Oops, that's not exactly what I wanted to do, but hey, um, we're, we're living. And sometimes that's all you can really ask for. Trying to... Oof. Sorry, kind of? Navigating this area is definitely a bit more difficult in some manners. Sorry, kind of. Although we just completely annihilated that segment of the the staircase. It's just that I can't really... Hmm. I almost like have to do that in order to, to get by. Which is not ideal, obviously. We can go over here to get the checkpoint. Yeah, I know. Vincent's got to be freezing with what he's wearing. We can push this guy. Come on up here. And I think... We'll actually be better off if we do something like this. It might be the safer route, although I bet there was a faster way of going about that. Oh, wait a minute, what? Um, let's see if we can do this. And see if that works. Well, it didn't really work exactly as intended. I can go up here to extend my combo briefly, but really only very briefly. This should make that fall, and then I think we can get up a little bit higher. Awesome. And then here, again, we're going to have to take advantage of the spider to get over here. You see how the game was trying to bait me there? We can... What do I want to do here? We'll do that. Again, I don't really need to worry about that. How do I want to do this? I'll do this, so then... Well, there wasn't much purpose to that, was there? I want to be able to make a little bit more space, I guess. Oops, that's not exactly what I had in mind. I don't know if I'm going to need that extra height on some of these, this sort of stairwell here, or not. But I'd like to keep my bases covered just in case. Hello? Can I have... Can I have some blocks? <laughs> Thank you. I guess we were maybe that far ahead of where the game expected us to be. Okay. So we can do this just to, to get up here for the time being. That guy is hanging there, which is not the best. Can I not? I really can't move him. Please just go away. What? Oh, did he take the money? He did, I think. So here's what we're going to do then. If the sheep is going to do that, we'll... What? No, he still took it. 
What's a good way of going about this then? I was thinking I could try to. Hmm. Pause. How can we prevent that from happening? Maybe we just have to completely get rid of this structure. Oops, that's not what I wanted to happen. We can maybe make it work though. All right. I mean, yeah, we'll we'll take that. And now he's at least blocked off from coming up and bothering us again. But it seems like we'll have a very similar problem up ahead. So how do I want to handle that? I think I'll have to come down to the point that he follows me or something, and then I can push him like that. But... Aw, oh, really? And now we're screwed. Um... How do we go about this segment here? Right? What's a good way of doing that? I think pulling it like this is probably my best bet. Oh, what? I tried to tried to push him down. I don't really have a lot to work with there, though, do I? I know our combo went away. Do I pull the block this way, maybe? No. The thing is, if I do this, I'm gonna run out of space pretty quickly. And then it's not, you know, particularly helpful. I guess I could move this. No, I can't do that, because then... That other edge is gonna keep that stable anyways. What do I want to do here, guys? What's a good way of going about this? I don't even know how many undos I have. I think it's like nine or so. But from here, what do I want to do? I guess, well, no, those rigid blocks are keeping everything stable. So it's not like I can break down the wall, per se. Let me think here for a moment. If I am down here and do something like this, could I recreate a stairwell up? Oh, really? You're gonna be like that? Oh, get out of the way! Come on! Let's see. Darn it, darn it. Get out of the way! Come on, man. Alright, so I've got to find a better way to, to deal with this here. Pause. What if I do this and get him to come down like that? Darn it, and he beat me to it again. So what's a good way of doing this? Hmm. Because I want to I want to create more of a base that I can work with up here. And I think that might be helpful. So if I were to do something like this, and then pull this out again, again I want to push this and then bring this, and then I guess that other sheep is just not bothering me now? Oh, and our thing reset, unfortunately. Oh, but if I push that, that's going to fall. Hmm. about doing this. I could push this to maybe drop the whole thing. I think that might be my best bet right now, is doing that. But now I don't even really, I still don't have a lot to really work with, right? So maybe that's not the way to go. And I instead do need to leave that in place. I feel like I need to do this on this side. Oh, is that really? <laughs> Wait, no, because this isn't a platform I can actually use. Hmm. Actually, you know what? What if I did this? That'll fall, right? 
And if that falls, what can I do with that? No, I don't think that's exceptionally helpful. Is it? Oh, we're so close, guys. And I don't think I can push this part at the bottom here. Hmm. Oh, wait a minute. I think I just need to... Um, I think what I need to do... No, that's not going to work either. Hmm. I'm a little bit stumped here, guys. Would be nice if we had one of those block items from before. But let's just think for a moment. What if I were to do something like this, where I kind of create a base there? Ah, oh, but then I can't really get around from the side to push that, right? I was thinking if I... Actually, what if I were to do something like this, where I push that out here? And then... Hmm... Darn it, that's not... I want to be able to push this all the way to the left as well. I don't know. What can I do down here to potentially change that? That should have lowered things, but that's not exceptionally helpful. Because I can't move these blocks anyways. So I'll do... Oh, I shouldn't have done that many actions. Oh, no! <laughs> so I'm going to have to come all the way back up. Nice. All right. Darn. I guess, at the very least, this time I can probably get one of those other create-a-block items on the way up, which will probably be more helpful. So, I guess I can aim for that, right? This is not exactly where I wanted to be, so let's do this. Oh, that's cold. Right, I got it. Edge. Oh, that's cold. Oh, right, I got it. Let's see. We'll pull this one this way. Oh wait, no. Darn it. Hang on. I gotta. I think I'm actually right where I need to be. There we go. So we have this item, which will be helpful. What? We got pinned? Hit him. Come on, Vincent. Okay. So I'd say so far we are doing better than we had been in the past. Which is progress. Can we, can we just like get rid of this guy? Please? I know I didn't get the checkpoint thing, but I'm ideally not going to be needing it, so. What I can do is probably just do this. Oh, wait a minute. This is not what I had done before. Nope, wrong way. Wrong way. When you are reversed, like behind on the opposite side of the blocks, it's so confusing. <laughs> I just can't even get Vincent to do what I want him to do. Might make our lives easier if I push all of these blocks over here. And then I think what I did... Wait, that's not even as high as I had been? Because I think what I did is I pushed this out, brought this in, pushed that out. Oh wait, no, I actually left this in here so that I could do that. Then I pushed that in, and that allowed me to climb up. And I don't think that was problematic. No. That didn't really have an impact on any blocks falling or anything like that at this stage in the level. So that was okay. Again, I want to hang on to this item. That guy's going to fall. I think we just pushed this out of the way. And that was what we used to get these coins. This is when everything starts going crazy on one side. 
Oh, what? Am I going to have to... Wait, no, that's not what I wanted to happen. I definitely did not want that gold to fall. Wait, what? The whole thing just fell if I did that? How did I get around this before? Yeah, I I guess I'm going to have to go the other way. So I'll pick up this gold and then just immediately start heading back down so I can go over this way and climb up. Which is not exceptionally problematic by any means, but it was certainly concerning. Oh, I actually need to pull this block in order to get up. Oh, maybe I want a bridge or something to stabilize that side. Ooh, did you guys hear that sound effect? Did not sound like our that other sheep met a very pleasant fate. Oh, really? So interesting, right? Actually, let me see if I can push this over to the left. We can use that to get this. That might be nice. And then if I pull this like that... Oh, no! Don't... Don't get rid of everyone. Um, oh, man, I was going to see if I could try to, like... Prevent... Interesting. So now I can't do much more than that. But... Maybe that's helpful in some manner? I mean, I guess what I could always do is this, right? And then we're, we're in the clear, more or less. And we'll, I'll take that. I never like having to rely on items, because I can almost guarantee there's a solution that doesn't require them. But I guess because we had it, we'll use it. And I didn't want to take much longer to try to figure it out. But it is interesting, right? How different the landscape was because of a lot of our earlier pushes and pulls being different. We had that whole right side available. It was a sight to see. Just goes to show how complex some of these block climbing puzzles can be. All right. So now we are at What's another up? landing. Hey. Hello. We've got our usual friends to chat with. If you want an item, pony up some coins. Tonight's product is... The black cube creates a dark block in front of you. The mystic... Nah, I don't need So we actually had some different items we could purchase there. Which is pretty interesting. But anyways, let's see what our friends have to say. She's coming up next. She's gonna kill me. Who is? The woman I left yesterday and the day before. She was laughing hysterically as she chased me. Yikes. Seriously? I am reaching the limits of my ability. Hey, do you wish for your loved one to be happy? Well, of course. Even if it makes you unhappy? Ooh. I'll find a way for us both, I think is something I'd want to say, but as long as it makes her happy, it's a little bit tough. Um... Which is gonna be... <laughs> I'm really trying to think about which is gonna be more reassuring to this sheep here. As long as it makes her happy, or I'll find a way for us both. Maybe, maybe I'll find a way for us both will be somewhat of a trailblazer. No. So, you're an idealist then. If it's impossible to marry her, then it's best for her if we break up. What? But I love her. I have to tell her. Tomorrow, I will break you up. Let's just focus on getting out of here before you start thinking about what you're gonna do. Oh man, I feel like that was not the right choice. If I have to hurt Anna, then. <sighs> so it's pretty clear that this sheep is Daniel, right? But. <sighs> Man, I really hope we said the the right things, the encouraging statements. Hey, 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 hey! It's you. Well, you got any new techniques to give me? Let's work together. Together to survive. First, let me give you a little move that I thought of. Exciting! We could use these before the big boss. Allow me to explain. The Geronimo. <laughs> when you fall from a stone, you can catch yourself if there is a place you can grab. If you see a spot that you can grab, you can then let go without any fear. Well, is that at least slightly useful? Yeah. I just had an idea. I mean, it is pretty helpful. Allow me to explain controlled demolition. When you are confronted with stones that form a level above your head like a roof, 
Try pushing the support stones. Oh, so we actually did a little bit of this in our last stage. Consider which blocks you need to push to cause the blocks you want to fall. Then climb onto the collapsed roof. Wow, that's great and very practical. I think I'll try using that next time. I mean, that's the point of these discussions, right? Please try talking with that man over there, the sheep with the big hair and the cigar. We talk about our techniques whenever we meet up, but he's not joining in this time. Mm, that's not a good sign. I'm really worried about him. For people who live by their reactions like him, stopping to reflect on himself can be dangerous. Huh, that's an interesting statement. What's up? People who stop, or people who live on, or by their reactions, how would stopping to reflect upon yourself be potentially dangerous? Maybe you make a rash decision based on some sort of reaction you have to what you learn about yourself when you reflect? Maybe. You've got a unique way of climbing. Like, you'd use that technique here? You're a sharp thinker, and quick. <laughs> really? The others are talking about you. They want to be like you. Hmm. Let's both do our best. Aw, well, we appreciate the compliment. Hello. I'm glad you're safe. <laughs> Let's see if we can uh, boost the morale of our friend over here. What you gonna talk about techniques? Whatever. It's here. Huh? Up above. It's gonna be there. Dad. He's... He's gonna kill me. With his axe. Like he used to. What do you mean? What would you rather be called? Maggot? Or little shit? Huh? I prefer maggot. At least that's still a living creature. I never had a name. I was always called one of those. Hell. Even that changed. Eventually, I didn't even exist to him. I was abandoned. I guess I can't help it if I'm worthless. That's that's definitely your dad's fault. That's not true, man. I know. He's not a good father. But even if you know that, it still holds a child back. Even now that he's dead, and I'm older than he ever was. Anyway, let's go. If he shows up later on, then settle things with him. Your naivete is pretty annoying. Oof. All right, I'm going. But hopefully, hopefully that was enough to spur you to keep going. But obviously, you, you were learning even more about the traumas that trouble these characters. Fuck. <laughs> just extra dialogue, just to drop an f-bomb. Techniques the other sheep told me about are really useful. I'm gonna rest here for a second, then go back and learn some more. I love this guy's voice actor. It's so funny. And I've made it this far. Oh, I didn't do anything. It was all you. Don't you get it? Everybody's pumped up because of you. Even me. I've been looking into climbing techniques because of you. All these sheep were running around like chickens. But we're a team now. Oh yeah. They're all warm and fuzzy. It's embarrassing. <laughs> I'm thankful for you. <laughs> That's pretty funny, actually. Oh, you still have a little more dialogue? We've come this far. We share the same fate. Let's do our best. I agree. Let's do our best and and work together and via the power of friendship succeed. One adult, please. Oh, you're awfully bold today. <laughs> Just sit. <laughs> Vincent's walked into the theater. <laughs> One adult, please. That was very impressive. Not only that, you've led the other sheep this far. If you had a child, would you want him or her to be like you? <laughs> That's really funny. Not even like this is the seventh question, and it, it is cutting right to the chase. I would say as much Which as possible. Part? One of me is enough. <laughs> what a funny response. No, I, I like myself enough, and I'm am proud of quite a few of my characteristics this to the point that I definitely would want my child to be similar to me to to an extent, not clones, oh, but. No. So I don't know if as much as possible really reflects my thoughts on this question, but definitely more like me than Which not one? like me. Well, you're going with that? Okay. <laughs> okay. By the way, getting much further than this won't be an easy feat. You should give up. Save yourself the pain. You're just trying to scare me because I'm so close to the top. It's not like that. I think you know already what exactly is chasing you. <sighs> Like I said before, you'll face true hell tonight. No matter what happens, escaping's the only way to survive. I have to do it. Okay, then let's go. The night will be over soon, too. Okay. <laughs> I love the way he says that. You guys notice the shadow that time? It's probably always been there. I just never saw it before. Makes sense that it's there. 
but it gives shape to something that otherwise seems just kind of like a distant figure, right? Anyways, let's see what other people said. Okay, I, it's not as strong of a preference for... Oh, wait, what? That's the opposite of what I expected. I expected a lot more people to say as much as possible. Interesting. That's a little bit more self-deprecating than even the, the average gamer I expected to be. <laughs> Alright. Final puzzle of the night. We've got the big bad boss coming for us. This is the final area for tonight. Also, you can take a look ahead at the next nights, right? How many more stages there are going to be compared to the previous nights? Use all the techniques you've learned to reach the pinnacle of this ice mountain. I'll do my best. We'll go quickly and see what we can do. Don't run. That can't be. Can't Doom's Bride. Has appeared. It's the killer. Do not die. Do not die. All right, so let's let's start our our adventure. I actually really like the design of this particular monster, Doom's Bride. So just kind of the structure of having two separate walls to scale makes me think that we're going to be spending a good amount of time. What does that do? I don't remember exactly. Oh, it causes this to tumble. Yeah, that's always kind of scary. So what we can do is what we did in that one wall section before, but um, it always makes me think of bridging techniques, you know, always being ready to kind of switch back and forth between the sides as you see fit, right? One side might be a lot more manageable than the other side. It's also diff more difficult to dodge some of these attacks, oh wait, when you're um, on one side compared to the other. So I'm going to pick these up and let's see if we can actually bridge across here. Uh oh, that's going to hit us. No! No! We just got body, And we're going to lose our combo as a result, aren't we? Yep. Darn. I was so close. Although, oh, wait a minute. So, the undo button is kind of broken, apparently. We successfully avoided that. And it looks like Catherine is now getting ready to chuck some blocks our way. Which is less than ideal. I also actually, something I really appreciate about this particular level is that they finally, you know, don't eat around the bush with somewhat more cryptic... Oh, wait, I just died. Oof. It was like one second, I was like, oh, we're gonna walk to the right, and then, nope, you, you realize it, and it's already too late. But I like that they're just very straightforward about, yep, this one is, this one's Catherine, right? So it's pretty clear that the, I think it was like the Lust, or I don't even, the Immoral Beast, what that was inspired by, but not everything is as clear, and especially in the beginning, I just died again. No, I didn't. Okay, I got saved. The, the game saved me there. We gotta get out of the way so I can climb up. I'm, uh, I'm gonna go over here, actually, just because I know we'll have to come over to this side eventually. And I think I actually already kind of screwed up that side on the right. So let's go ahead and go over here for now. Oh, what? I got hit by that? Oh, no. So we are in... We are in Catherine's attack range. And that's not good. Oh, and I'm blocked. Yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna do a nice little undo segment here. <laughs> See if we can get back up here. And we'll get attacked, of course. Oh, I could have climbed up there. But, hmm. We can avoid the snowfall there. Now, let's see. I think it might be a little bit more difficult to bridge here, but it could still be doable. Yeah, so we're in the clear. Oh, gotta get out of the way. We actually hit the checkpoint this time. So again, a little bit more flexibility in terms of getting up there. Oh, and they, she stole that block. That's actually a bit problematic. You saw how it altered the sort of shape of the left half of the structure there. And you can also see how we're going to have to pull out a block there to have the option to spider. 
What do I want to do here? We can afford to do this. So we'll do that. And already I hear the, the bells, meaning we're doing pretty well. Some of those blocks fell, but it shouldn't have affected the at-large structure, which is nice. We can push this out of the way, and that way we'll climb up this stairwell and already be at where the coins are. But again, we are losing a little bit of the structure as we're doing this. Where is that going to fall? Okay, we're going to very carefully avoid those. And I think we're in the clear. That actually went a lot more smoothly than I had anticipated. The stage before this gave us a little bit more difficulty. I gotta get out of here. Or else the bride will be right behind me. I'll kill you. I knew it. <laughs> The monsters are so well designed. I love them each time. No, no, this is just a nightmare. All right, we survived another night. And you can see just how much more optimistic, positive Vincent has gotten over the course of the nights, right? How used to this whole experience he's gotten, confident in his own ability to climb and, and defeat the monsters that chase him every night. Wow, so we got a pretty big score. Flawless completion of the quadrangle. Congratulations. Awesome. Feel pretty good about that one. No Catherine next to us? Hmm? Hello? Is this Vincent? Uh, yeah? Who is... You know Catherine, right? Huh? This is Steve. Catherine's boyfriend. What? Are you serious? Damn it! You have... Uh-oh. Shit! Her boyfriend? Was she playing me? I thought it was weird for her to rush things. Oh, man, this shit keeps getting worse. off with her. Yeah, I was planning to do it in the first place. In the first place? <laughs> really? Yeah. I mean, I, I never thought it would end up this way. <sighs> this is for your sake as well. You know the difference between right and wrong, right? I'll kill you. Yeah. <laughs> oh, Killing someone's really right, isn't it? Does everyone want with me? <laughs> well, at least now I can resolve this situation with her. He said his name was Steve. In any case, Catherine's gotta agree to break up with me once I tell her about this. I'll see her one more time to have a talk.
pretty creepy. But at least it sounds like Vincent's ready to actually make a decision. Uh, Steve? I don't know anyone named Steve. What? Really? What's this about? Why are you bringing up this Steve guy out of the blue? I got a call this morning. This guy Steve said he's your boyfriend. Huh? What? He said he was my boyfriend? Yeah. He called me up. He said he was Catherine's boyfriend. Hmm. Well, obviously someone's got the entirely wrong person. Huh? But, but he... I told you it's not me. Really? Then who is it? How would I know? Maybe it's some other Catherine you know. Yeah, like I know a... <sighs> Wait. No, 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 I can't be. Um, you really know another Catherine? Just... just let me think for a second, please. Um... Catherine definitely isn't a cheater. And I can't just trust every word this girl says. Hey, wait, maybe this guy is just one of your lurkers. Huh? What do you mean? There's gotta be countless men that have fallen for you, right? Maybe one of them is still trying to get you to fall for him. I mean, you are really cute. <laughs> huh? God, what am I saying? <sighs> anyway, maybe this guy's not even named Steve. He's probably some creeper trying to act slick. <laughs> Stop, you're scaring me. Oh, sorry. You know, let's, let's just drop it. Hey, you're the one that brought it up. It can't be. We get out her of here. cheating on me? That's absurd. No, th th that's impossible. But can I really say it's absolutely impossible? I can't. Ah! Hey, are you listening? Oh, sorry, I kind of kind of zoned out there. You know, being with you is a real pain sometimes. Oof. Huh? Oh, sorry. Whatever. I'm going now. See you later. Yeah. No, wait. <laughs> you, you can't come over tonight. Too late. I've already decided. Seriously, tonight is not a good time for me. I, uh, have really bad diarrhea. Hmm, that's so? Well, if you're not feeling well, I guess there's no point in going. Take care. Oh, okay. I love that. <laughs> Just collapses on the table. But the beauty of homophones, right? He immediately assumed it was Catherine with a C's boyfriend, but it very well could be Catherine with a K's boyfriend. She may be the one cheating? <laughs> That's impossible. Not Catherine. Honestly, man, I wouldn't be surprised. Always meeting new people for work. Plus, she doesn't always choose hey, the best stop guys. Stop saying it right? like I've been cheating honor? all this time. Ugh, don't you get it? It isn't about length. Jeez, you men are such pigs. Next time she's here, tell me, man. <laughs> I'm gonna see her. Yeah, this wasn't supposed to be a meetup. <sighs> Forget this at all. Why did it turn out this way? This all sounds like a huge pain. Uh, come on, stop being so down. I mean, you don't even know if she's really cheating, right? No. <sighs> so. What are you gonna do now? What else can I do? I have to know. Seriously. I'm just in shock now. In shock my ass. Even if it's true, you're not innocent either. You're just a selfish pig. <laughs> She's right, you know. Erica calling him out. I know. I know I'm doing the same thing. I knew she was lying to me. I couldn't take it. And yet here I am. Oh, man. Hey, Vincent. Wow. What a loser. Dude, I can't watch this anymore. You're really bringing me down, man. So she dumped him? Yeah. People say he's in bad shape. He's looking pretty messed up now. He might not pull out of this. He may even show up on the morning news. Don't joke about that, man. That's not cool. Anyway, did you hear what happened? Ah, oh, jeez. This place is getting pretty loud these days. 
Hey, it might not just be a rumor. It's like, you know, the dream where you're falling and you'll die if you hit the ground before you wake up. Lately, a lot of customers have been talking about having strange dreams. <laughs> That's just stupid. How's anyone supposed to know what dream the dying person had? They're dead. It's just a dream. And real. Right, Vincent? Maybe he's already dead. Vince! Vince, wake up or you'll die! Seriously? Is he gonna be okay? I'm not dead yet. I'm gonna, I'm gonna take a piss. At least Vince's really starting to understand the gravity of the situation, right? Via literally being put in the same position he's been putting Catherine with a K in, he's understanding her feelings better than he could have in the past. And that's that reflection, that experience is very, I guess, um, eye-opening. But anyways, the story has gotten quite complex now. We don't know which of the Catherines is potentially cheating on us, and who is Steve? And Vincent was going to break things off with Catherine with a C, but now isn't sure whether or not he actually has the justification he had hoped to bring to that conversation. But he knows he still needs to because of the guilt he's feeling now and even the thought of Catherine with a K cheating, right? So, it's getting pretty tense. That was the completion of the fifth night as well. There are only a few more nights and the puzzles in addition to the story are going to get significantly more serious as time goes on. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this one. I hope you guys are looking forward to the next episode. But until that next episode, this has been Midnight Zero and this mission is complete.